So this is a church pew from Romania or Hungary? Transylvania area. Transylvania. Which is sort of Hungary, Romania. And it says, we got in close, it says 1903 on it yep. here. Yep. And you said this is going to China. Yep. Chinese love that stuff. So you've so got so European... Richard, living in the UK, said all the young idiots in England are buying IKEA. Yeah, that's, that's taken the and market. He said the Asians are smart, they're buying oak. Yeah, Walnut. hardwood. Uh, this is all going to China. Look, all of this. See that? We've done upholstery. Turkish, Congo fabrics, old English furniture, that's Indian. And we've done the upholstery here. So we've got carpenter, we've got a girl that does all the colouring. So, anyway. We've got stuff, look at this, all over. We've got architectural elements, doors, we've got arches. If you want to build houses, I've got 13 doors in my home that my wife and I pick. We've got columns. We've got, I have to put a bit of light in my hand. It's a real treasure trove, huh? What about these chairs here, these wicker? Uh, these are from Java plantation chairs. Like old colonial style? Yep, Dutch colonial. These are all Central European benches, see? Tables and chairs, they're all Central European. Choose Where are they from? Himalaya. So like Nepal or somewhere? Near Nepal, India border, Chhattisgarh, Manipur, Kashmir, maybe. Orissa, no, not Kashmir, that's the other side. Brothers further over. Um, people choose them and we make pictures of them. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. This is the Himalayan Palace. This is where the Indian Empire came from. Yeah. Look at this. Tables, lots of drawers, again, tons of stuff. Yeah, Dutch colonial tables here. So they're from Indonesia mostly. Yeah, tick, all tick. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, yeah. Indian coffee tables. Back there, English table, dining tables, oak, and all that. We've got from all over India, Central European soap furniture, and trunks from Central Europe. Oh, yes. Wedding, wedding Look like, like a little bit like that other object um, from Romania or Hungary. Yeah. Romania, Hungary, Ukraine, Slovakia. Amazing. I was getting some stuff from the Tyrol Mountains in Austria as well. Mm -hmm. They're getting priced now. What about these here? Yeah, they're Transylvanian. We've stripped the colors out. Yes. These are dull colors. I think they're nicely painted. Yeah, Repainted. Mm -hmm. They're dull colors. I'll strip them. And these are the colonial chairs again. They look very comfortable. <laughs> Yes. I was asking uh, if there's a, an easy way to describe what it is that you've got here. We do f furniture, home decor, um, art, antiques, mm. things that from the past and blending many cultures and ethnicities from mostly Asia, Africa, Europe, Latin America. The whole world practically. Practically. Started this uh, uh, June 
2023, we started Europe. We did, yeah. never did Europe. Mm. We did uh, Asia, Africa, and Latin America. But because the economies are so bad in mm. the West, if we can say that, became attractive to buy furniture there. Yes, so you're talking about Europe as a source for furniture. Correct. Not antique or older furniture. Correct. At least 19th century, so maybe older than Correct. that. Correct. Uh, rather than as a market, because from what you told me before, the European market has disappeared really it's for you. It used to be important for you. America and Europe used to be important, but now it's very, very little. And you've got a big operation here. How many square feet? How square meters have uh, you got here? 50,000 square meters. 50,000 square meters. and Of showroom and warehouse. Yeah. And, and we get containers every month. Yeah, and they come from, as you say, all, all over those the world. countries, yeah. Um, 30 countries. 30 countries you're sourcing from. So you've obviously got some very good people on the ground there locally yeah, yeah. looking for things, looking for good things. Sure, and we travel a lot too. You yeah. also travel a lot. Is it possible to say which? countries are most important for you in terms of where you find your... Well, at this stage, still Asia is number one. Mm -hmm. Which parts of Asia are so you talking about? So it would be Indonesia, uh, India. India, yeah. Right. And uh, for furniture. Yeah. China is out because not allowed to bring antiques from China okay. anymore, but mm -hmm. that used to be a very important aspect. Mm. And textiles and things from Turkey and Central Asia. Mm. And... Uh, Africa, we bring all sorts of home decor mm. from Morocco to West Africa, East Africa, Central Africa. Mm -hmm. Latin America, we stopped with Mexico. It's too pricey. They've lost all their old heritage, most of it. Mm. So we were doing a lot with Guatemala, mm -hmm. Honduras, uh, mm -hmm. El Salvador, and Caragua, etc. That's slowing down now because we're running out of supplies. And all of a sudden, I never thought it would happen, we're buying now in Europe. Yeah, that's the big turnaround, it's isn't it? It's unbelievable. So the, if you talked to me five years yes. ago, I never would have imagined. You've been doing this business, the same business more or less. Obviously, the items you're selling and the people you're selling to and the places you're buying the items from have changed. Yeah. And, and Demographics over have the changed. Years. Demographics have changed. Yeah. But it's basically the same business for 30 years, but there's been a transformation in terms of the people you're selling to. That's the biggest change that's yeah. happened, isn't it? Sure. And what, what has happened in the last 10 or 15 years? What's the big change for you? Well, when we saw the recessions coming in 2008, mm. we thought well, we're in trouble. Mm. We thought, because the Western markets all suffered. Mm. Um, but that changed because mm. the Asians started coming, mm. and in a big way. Mm. And now Asia is our largest, is in fact 99.9% .9 of our market is Asia. China mm. is our largest export market. China has become the biggest market. That's interesting. Export market. Export market. Yeah. We sell a lot to other countries as well in mm. Asia. And Thailand, specifically Bangkok, mm. has become probably the second largest market. Mm. We have a bit of Japan, Korea. We sell a little bit here and there to other Asian countries. But mm. China and Thailand are number one mm -hmm. together. And of course, Japan and Korea. Mm. But we don't need all those all those countries anymore. Mm. I mean, there were many European countries, and of course North America, but the Chinese alone. Yeah. When we look at our figures, our graphs, mm. we used to think the West was the center of the universe. Mm. Uh, the, the Chinese buyers are buying four to five to six times more than any of my large American buyers were buying in the past. Yes. That is what's changed. Yes. That's what's changed. Yes. And it's, uh, we've realized this is a huge, huge world. We yes. used to think our universe was our own yes. world. Yes. Yes. It yes. isn't. Yes. We're very small. Yes. The United States is 330 million. Mm. Uh, the Western Europeans, mm. 380 million, mm. perhaps 400. Mm. You're looking at four and a half billion people in Asia and it's yes. growing. The middle classes are growing. China yes. has probably more than 380 million middle classes. Mm. India is now booming. Yeah. And that has an enormous capacity. That's potential maybe for you because at the moment you're probably yeah. not selling much. So you're buying still, you're buying those yeah. wonderful doors that you yes. turn into tables. Sure. But you're not really selling much probably to India. No, their the the market tastes are totally different. Yes. Uh, for the time being. Yes. Uh, the Chinese are more appreciative. Yeah. I think they're more cultured, mm. more sophisticated, mm. and educated. The, the mm. market that we sell to yes. 
we're talking about Chinese, the age group is between 28 to 40. Mm. They're not the same as their parents. Yeah. They're really sophisticated. Yes. And the young Thais that come here, yes. fantastic. Yes. They have a bit of fashion sense than some of the Europeans. Yes. I mean, yes. a European lady will come here and she says, I, I want a carpet that's blue to match my blue sofa. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. A young Thai will come into me and says, have you got a Turkmen, Turkmenistan or Kazakh yeah. kind of rug? Yeah. Uh, teke or Yomut? Mm. And I sometimes smile and say, <laughs> that Somebody they knows. really do their research. They know what they're talking they're about. They're doing their research. Yeah. They travel a lot, they read a lot. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, our uh, Western maybe I should say the new generation of the West isn't so yeah. cluey yeah. as maybe, you know. Yeah. But that's it. That's it. So yeah. the biggest single change has been the... Demographics. Demographics. You're selling a lot. And you mentioned before, not only to private individuals, but you're selling... We mostly sell to the retail trade. Okay. That, that includes retailers, interior designer, decorators, who do hotel projects, all mm. private projects. Yeah. The consumer level is word of mouth, yeah. but the trade, mm. it's a different situation. We sell to a lot of the large yes. retailers and so forth. And you China. mentioned boutique hotels, that's a big part We do a lot of them. boutique hotels here in Thailand. Yes. We've done some Singapore, Penang, mm. Mm. Uh, I think we've done some in Sri Lanka. We've done a lot of places, mm. lots of places, mm. in Vietnam. Mm. Uh, and the interior designers coming from China are doing a hell of a lot of uh, yeah. hotels in, in China, from Hainan mm. all the way to Beijing, Shanghai, yes. um, Hangzhou, Guangzhou, Shenzhen, you name it. So we, we do. And it's a huge market. It's a huge market. And, and there, it's an educated, sophisticated market. Mm. That's the pleasure with dealing with them. Yes. They know what they, you can't kid them around. Yeah, they, they know what they're talking They'll say, about. what's that wood? And I'll say, oak. Oh, hardwood. Yes. That's walnut. Oh, very good. No, this is elm, or this is ash. This mm. is poplar. This is uh, pine. Oh, very cheap. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they really don't. And here they in Asia, stuff. they use teak or yeah, ironwood and yeah. so forth. So they know their stuff. Mm. Um, it's great. Yeah. It's, great. it's a pleasure dealing with them. All continents. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Asia, Africa, Latin America, and Europe. Yeah. So 30, more than 30 countries. Yes, but the bulk is, I'm guessing, mainly from parts of Asia, where most Asia of the... Asia at the moment, but it's always changing. Yeah. I mean, every month we get new containers. Anywhere in... A lot of West, yeah. Central and East Africa. Mm -hmm. At the moment we're missing a lot of Ethiopian stuff we've sold out. But uh, we do West Africa, Central you, Africa, East. Do you know the story of this? Ah, yes, this is a well from Mali. Uh-huh. A colonial figure. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, and it's hand carved over there. We do that sort of stuff all over the West and East Africa. Mm -hmm. And you know, we've got tables from Java. What about this here? India. This I don't know. This is from India. Is, is it a gateway? Area. Well, it was. Or it was, was, yeah. Made into a console. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and what about these? These are uh, rain drums. They're, well, they're manufactured today. They're not, mm -hmm. they're not old. They're then, new. Yes. They're made to look rustic, but they're yes. new. But the, that piece is old. Mm. The colors have changed. And this sort of shield oh, there. This is Asmat, uh, New Guinea. Yeah. New Guinea? Yeah. yeah. So you've really got a diverse. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have from all over. Anything you see, you know, like this musical instrument. From, from India? From yeah. India. It's Java. Fabrics, you see, that's Moroccan. We make teak. Uh huh. The teak comes from Java, the frames. Mm -hmm. the, um, fabrics come from other countries, and we do them all here in Chiang Mai. So we call it a three nation concept. Okay. This so, big blue, is that Indian? That's Indian. Gujarat. Okay. The doors are old, so it's top, but the inside are all new. When you say old, what sort of age would you oh, think? 80, 90, possibly even 100. Mm -hmm. Inside, and you've... all brand new manufacturing. Oh, yeah. So that's very practical. Yeah. So, yes. And that part's old as well. But the casings 
mm. one size mm. and you. Mm. These figures here, what about this figure on the... Uh, that's uh, Dayak, Kalimantan. Okay, that's that Indonesia. Mm -hmm. From all over, that's Mali, Jawara mm -hmm. from Mali, uh, Sunufo people. Sorry, what is this one? Sunufo people, Cote d'Ivoire. Oh, this yeah. Is, uh, Tanzania. So, yeah. And the art you said? This is from a lady who is Mozambican, but she lives in Spain. Mm -hmm. and she does a lot of nice, cheery um, artwork, modern. And you've got a lot of these tables you've made we using made originally their Indian doors, is yes, that right? That's 1920s and 30s Art Deco, but made today. The, the, the frame is so made. The frame is made, and you have that done locally here yeah, in Thailand? Our boys do it here. Okay, on site, okay. But the original, the door is shipped from India. Yes, yes. I'm guessing you ship stuff in containers and so oh, on. Only containers, yeah. 40 foot high cubes only. Okay. These are from rice barns. Raja people in Sulawesi Island. Okay. Indonesia. Indonesia, yeah. Ethiopian panels. Wow. So, yeah. If we go through the back, are we still on? No, you can do that too. It's crappy there. Amazing. From all over. This is an interesting object again. Yep, Tanzania. Tanzania. This is a typical. Um, Zoramo, Zoramo people, Tanzania. near the Mozambican border. Okay. And this so looks like Chinese? Actually, yes, that's Chinese. We've got Indian trunks and cabinets all over the place. Wonderful. Oh, yes, these chests here. Oh, yes, they're all Indian. So India is a big source of... India is big. Indonesia is big, and now England's becoming very big. I've sold a lot. I'm getting another container from the UK now, Midlands area. Lovely oak. Originally, they were very dark Even and glossy, stripped. and mm. we stripped it and waxed it, so we made it very nice. more nicer. So that would be what, 19th century? Oh yes, oak, beautiful yeah. English oak. Mm. So. What about this boat here? That looks Which interesting. Ah, oh, these are also Asmat people, New Guinea. Wow. Behind that is brush paintings from China. Mm -hmm. Super. Uh, yeah, Very nice. And this is just one of your how many buildings have you got? Uh, we have 50,000 square meters. Wow. And we have buildings that have got, well, you know, rooms, you should say. Rooms, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we've got seven, then two stories. Eight, nine, nine showrooms and a huge warehouse, very large warehouse. And this, this is day bed here, is it? This is a bed, yes, from Java, East Java, mm. all solid teeth. Wonderful. Mali dog on doors, we make them into coffee tables, granary doors, and small windows, we make them out of, uh, we make side tables. Those are matching nicely. Mm -hmm. Beautiful oak. Yes. Strip. Where does that come from? UK. That's UK. It's beautiful, isn't yep. it? So isn't it very it tough been. to find something like that? I'm buying them because they're you not must have, selling. He's but not you've selling got, in the UK anymore. But you've got good local people probably looking for oh, items for you. Is that what? Asians are the biggest buyer of European antiques now. But how, do you do, how did you find that is what I'm wondering. I have my sources. I mean, yeah. The, the fellow, Steve, he's, he supplies me. He's one of the largest in England. He knows you're looking for this sort oh, of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. So he only sells now to Japan, Korea, and me. Okay. Because the market is in Asia he's now. Lost, he's lost Europe and he's losing America. Yeah. He's losing Asia. And here's another of those doors you've turned into yeah. a wonderful uh, glass uh, coffee table. Yeah. You so said the, the fabrics you take from other parts that's of the world. Yeah, no. Ghana, that's Uzbekistan. Those, so this is African uh, that's pattern. Central Asian, Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan, but you're having the furniture made, the furniture here. is made here, here on site in Chiang Mai, yeah. but using the fabrics from other parts of the world. And here's another wonderful coffee table using yep. a door yep. from yep. India. Yep. Yeah. Fantastic. You've got a whole so we number of them. Things like 
an Indian cushion. grinder. Oh, that's a grinder. Made, made into an ottoman using Turkish killing. You've got a real mix of... Yeah, we're mixing. Old European bench with Moroccan fabric. This is Guatemala fabric. Wonderful. So, we don't have so you must have specialists for, for textiles and so on, do you? How do you... How do you I, I, we, we buy all the textiles and we get them made here. But I guess, I'm guessing the secret after many, many years and decades of doing this is also about having the right people uh, uh, on the ground in those yes. locations where you're buying like Guatemalan textiles. They know, they know what we're looking for. Yeah. I've been dealing with the same people since 1986. Yeah, <laughs> you've been doing it a long time. What about this wonderful here, this object? Uh, this also people Mali. Mali from again. From the river Niger. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. The fishing villages, they make those sort of masks, you see all those... They're masks, they're yeah. used locally, yeah, ceremonies. Yeah, so these, these objects would be made for the local yeah. cultures, they're not made for... No. For it's commercial it's purposes. Century. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Even, the, even the lamps up here you've got. Oh, that's Turkish, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful range. Do you know how many items you've got? Must be tens of thousands. 30, 000, more than 30, our website's got more than 30,000 items. What about this here? What's this? What's that? Right That's in front of you. New Guinea is amazingly yeah. productive, isn't Lovely. it? That's also used in some sort of religious ceremony. ceremony. Yes. What about COVID? Did it, was that a big problem? No, because thank goodness everything mobile. Okay. The, the Chinese use WeChat. Yeah. Westerners use WhatsApp. Hmm. Most of the world uses WhatsApp. And the Thais use Line. Line. Yeah. So basically, who were not affected by COVID? That's great. People buying online. Yeah. So yeah. Well, they and you were still able to ship things. Well, a lot of the housewives were bored, weren't they? Yeah. So they wanted to redo their homes. Yeah. So we were the same yeah. during COVID. We had a very good time. Yeah. 2020, 2021, we were doing all right. I'm only sorry the hospitality industry sucks. Yes. Yes. Because they're also our customers. Yes. But the consumer level yeah. is very good, especially yeah. domestic. Yeah. And the Chinese were buying by WeChat. Uh -huh. So they already know our stuff. They look at our website uh -huh. and they choose the things. The girls here give them prices mm -hmm. and away it goes. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you were in a privileged situation perhaps of having a, such a well established business and established channels to sell your, your goods. Had we not had electronic yeah. technology, yeah. we'd be in trouble. Yeah. Everybody yeah. would be in trouble. So in the early days, obviously 30 years ago is just about the beginnings of the internet. In those days, it was face it was face to face, to face in those days, right at the very beginning mm. when you started. We started with internet in 1997. Yes. Uh, before that was all typewriters. Exactly. And so, and so your first the Word nature process. of the business has changed in that respect. And maybe you did more traveling before you had good local people to do the sourcing. We for still you? like to travel. Yeah. Because you got to pick out sometimes the, 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 the nice stuff. Yeah. You got to see it in your hand. Although during yeah. COVID, we were using Zoom. Yeah. Oh, you did some. Yeah, yeah, we did some buying. We, yeah. we brought containers in. We're doing it <laughs> online. Yeah. But uh, now we're resuming to travel again. Yes. Can we enjoy Traffic. So, which, which places do you particularly like or need to go to? Well, there's a lot of places to yeah. go to. I'm at the moment, uh, we will be going to India soon. Uh -huh. But at the moment, I'm buying in the UK. Mm -hmm. And I've got containers arriving from both Indonesia mm -hmm. and Tanzania. Okay. I've got a lot of mm -hmm. stuff coming from Tanzania as well. Yes. And unfortunately, we won't be doing Morocco. Mm -hmm. The earthquake ruined half of that. Oh, yes. Turkey, no, not mm -hmm. at the moment. We're going to do that, but mm -hmm. maybe we'll have to wait yeah. later on in the year because it's uh, shipping in containers are very expensive now because of the Red Sea problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you know, around the Asian area. So you do travel quite a bit. Oh, we travel in 30 countries. You know, we used to travel, used to, but uh, <laughs> now I'm cutting down. <laughs> so yeah. So what do you think? Have any idea what your business and your world and your life will be like in five years or ten years? 
It'll still still be the same. Mm. I mean, this is our love and passion. Yeah. I love what I'm doing, so I'll still be doing this. Mm. But I'm also property development as well. Okay. So, but that's You've got that's, enough to keep you busy anyway. Yeah, but that's more of a passive mm. income. But this is the passion. Mm. Touching wood, feeling artworks. You mm. know, this is what it's. This is what it's about. Really. Yeah, yeah. You yes. have to have that. It, it's not. Yeah. How much am I going to make? Well, yeah. That was years ago. Today, yes. I love doing it. Yes, yes. So. Yes, and I expect the pleasure of having very special objects to, to pass on to people. Hmm? Well, I'm also a collector. Yeah. Oh, you don't sell everything. Some things you don't want to well, sell. Well, in my home, nothing goes out. It's okay, safe. so the very best items that come in, maybe don't get, not necessarily don't get put on the showroom floor. Things that I like. Things that I like. <laughs> yeah, not necessarily the best. It's but for you, I the like. best, maybe. For me, for for me it's what I like. Yes. It's what I like. But yeah. I do collect things. I have, have you got any particular special oh. interests? It's very eclectic. Very eclectic. Like your collection here. I have a lot of contemporary art. I have antique art. Okay. I have um, I'm a huge weapons collector. Uh -huh. I have a lot of sword and daggers. Okay. A uh, bit of military. Mm -hmm. I'm also a, a numismaticist. So I collect a lot of coins, uh, yeah. um, especially 19th century. Gold and silver. Mm -hmm. I've been doing this since childhood, mm. so that's a something else that I do. Mm. Um, beautiful art pieces. Mm. So and you're doing the right sort of work for your to match your personal interests, anyway. Yeah, very I, much I collect a lot of tribal art from Africa and yes. Asia. You have a lot of you have a lot of interesting things you said from Mali. You pointed out. Yeah. Yes, we do. And, and also, Tanzania, you also yeah. pointed out. Yeah. And since my wife likes textiles and rugs, yes. we have quite a collection of home with that too. And we do yeah. sell a lot of rugs. Here. And one of the things you do, you pointed out when we walked around, is buying textiles from, was it Guatemala in particular? You had quite a lot well, of Guatemala. Well, we, 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 we used to buy furniture and textiles in yes. Guatemala. Used to. Yes. But it's become very pricey now, yes. so it's cutting out. Okay. But we're buying textiles and rugs mostly from Central Asia. Mm -hmm. So that is from Turkey all the way to the stands. Yes. Ex-Russian areas. Yeah, like, uh, Kazakhstan. Uh, well, that's the stands. Yes, but stands then, okay. but the Russian areas yes. like uh, Ingushetia, uh -huh, Dagestan, okay. mm -hmm. or, or Chechnya. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we do a lot of Caucasus as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that keeps us busy. Mm -hmm. And we do textiles also in Africa as well as tribal decorative items. Yes. We do also textiles in Africa and we use it for upholstery. We That's what I was going to say. You, you've got a whole set of, uh, of textiles that your customers can choose from. Yeah. And, and you've got partners who make the furniture for you. Subcontractors. For your sub subcontractors. So they will basically provide the furniture no, no, covered. We, no, we buy the frames. Okay, you buy the frames. We buy the frames. We buy only teak okay. and mahogany. Okay. And we buy that in Java. Mm -hmm. And they're all raw. Mm. They come raw mm -hmm. in pieces. We put them all together. We do the finishing here. And the, and the cushions. And then the subcontractor and the does the upholstery. Okay. But the finishing coloring and everything we do here. And the customers can choose the right the customers can choose whatever. Textiles. We've got the frame, they'll yeah. do it for them. So, yeah. Great. Yeah. Great. It's been good. It's been yeah. good. Yeah. We do sofas, we do chairs, we do all sorts of things. So. Mm. It's very like you said, it's very eclectic. You've got a very wide range of of uh, items here. And uh, did you say how many you think you have all together? I think our website has more than 30,000 products, wow. I, I believe. Yeah, I, I could be wrong, yeah. but I, I think it's 30,000. You've got a vast space here. Exactly. But everything's uh, in Excel sheets, so yes. that's how they From know the, the girls here. They know all the numbers yes. because they, they have the yeah. pads with the money, yes. you know. And they can, so they know all the prices, yes. they know everything. So yes. They're very good. I've had the same workers for years. And you probably got very good partners on the logistics side as well because you you bring in a lot of stuff, but you've got customers all over the world. So you we, probably have good partners who can we, ship for you as well. We believe in long term. Yeah. All our suppliers have been around for many years. Yes. Um, here, here, the logistics, as far as shipping, we use the same shippers. 
for domestic uh, cargo, we use the same guy, mm. his company. For inward uh, container ships coming in, we use the same shipper. Mm. For outbound, yeah. we'll, allow, we'll allow the customer to choose okay. and select. And as for suppliers in those countries, gosh, mm. we've known our Moroccan lady since 1989. <laughs> My Indian supplier since 1986. Wow. Um, yeah, long term. Yeah. We like we don't. We off, obviously in the beginning we switched mm. around yes. until we found the right people. Yes. Now we're with the same families, mm. same people all the time. You can rely on. Yep. And also with our services here, mm. we have repeat customers. Yes. A lot of the interior designers and architects come mm. back. Yes. Because we give them that service. Yes. And our staff here are service orientated. Yes. I've instilled that in them many years ago. Mm. And our staff are all 20 years, 15 years. I think the youngest one's 12 years. With you? With us. Yeah. Even our uh, painter, and yeah. he's been with us. I mean, <laughs> my captain has been with me 25 years. Yeah. Same yeah. guy. Yeah. You know, yeah. He's got a, a, he was a single fellow, and yeah. he's got a family, he's got yeah. kids. Uh, we like to keep the same people, mm. and that's probably the secret mm. to success and growth. Yes. If you go to a company and you see them chop and change staff a lot, mm. for whatever the reason is, mm. of course, if it's incompetent, then you've yeah. made an error in judgment. Yes. But if you've got uh, good staff mm. and you see the turnover, mm. there's something wrong. Mm. There must be something wrong with yes. the company. Because yeah. we've had the same, we have our ups and downs. I have arguments with some of the girls yeah, in the office. That's normal. But you know what? Mm. They're here, they're loyal. Yeah. yeah. We take care of them. They're like mm. family. Mm. We take care of all their health insurance. Mm. We don't have the normal government one. We yeah. have the high, the higher one. Yeah. We take care of their kids. Mm. I try my best to give them, a, you know, that the children have better education. Yeah. I'll chip in. Yeah. Um, we treat that they're family. Actually, yes. they are family. Yes. They're yes. family. Yes. We know everything. We know their divorces. We know the <laughs> problems with their boyfriends. We know the problems with their children. Yes. We know everything that goes on because yes. it's like family. Yeah. So, um, and they're good kids. Mm. They're really good. Yeah. We, we love them. Yeah. <laughs> this is definitely your home for you now, isn't it? You were saying before, this is now. Chiang Mai is home. Here it's been home for years. 32 years. 32 years. Uh, this is home. Mm. Thailand is probably, as far as I'm concerned, one of the best countries on the planet. Mm. And I mean it. Yes. Uh, it's been good to me. Yeah. And in return, I love it even more. Mm. Um, I've had a lot of choices where to live, and I've lived in different places. Mm. This is the only place when I know when I fly in, you get that warm, fuzzy feeling. <laughs> you coming home. And you go, yeah, it's here. It's right here. It's a beautiful. It's a beautiful country. With all yeah. the idiosyncrasies and all the stupidity that goes on, it does. There's a lot of stupidity. But every country's got stupidity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is a good country. Yeah. People are great. Yeah. Culture is fantastic. Yeah. Buddhism is. A fantastic philosophy, mm. used properly and wisely. <laughs> um, but this is this is home. Yeah, I, I love it here. Yeah, yeah. that's I, I can't imagine living anywhere. I have twenty-second fantasies. You know, it could be <laughs> somewhere in Peru. Yeah, you know, it could be a lot of places, a lot of islands and places yes. I've been to. You know, yes. like this is home. Yes. Yeah. So. Great. Well, Josh, thank you very much for finding time to talk to me. Oh, today. it's a pleasure. Because I know you're very busy, and I can hear people, I can see people in the background looking around here and with their eye on buying something from you, so I know you want to get and speak to them as well, as you should be. <laughs> I, I'm always on the floor. I, I, yes. I enjoy doing it, but yeah, I, I, I like to be on too, the floor yeah. because I like to, you see, this is another thing. Yeah. You listen to your customers. Yes. Because... They mean everything. Yeah. Without your customers, yeah. there's nothing. Yeah. There's zero. Yeah. So when the customer perchance tells you something, you take a listen. Yeah. If three or four people say the same thing, you know mm. that's mm. what they want. Yes. And we always give them what they want. Yeah. So yeah. that's yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Fantastic. Well, right. I thank you very much again. That's a pleasure. And I'm going to spend, without bothering you, I'm going to walk another five or ten minutes around and have a look at some of the items I didn't yet see.
because I know you've got so much here. And I'll take the camera with me and do some more filming. Oh, no problem. And uh, great, okay. thank you again. Thank sure. You. Thanks, 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 thanks a lot. Yes. Aburrido con ganas de que Averiguando qué hacer por la noche Entonces entras en mi cuarto pa' ver Levántate mi amor, hoy vamos a beber Ponte algo sexy, bebé Tírate un selfie, bebé Que te ve bien cabrón Brindamos todas las copas Que se trabajo Tírate un selfie Que te ve un millón No hay trabajo en la mañana Un bendición Baby, put your favorite dress on And baby, we can skip and go right to the sequel Friend of Philly Blunt, take a hit for the people Que se f*** el Instagram, que se f*** algo ritmo Machuca sin vergüenza y la tiro con ritmo Agua You know I like it like that You know I like it like that You know I like it like that Thank you.